All right, there's a proper way of setting spaces between paragraphs in any page layout application that's actually seldom used, but uh, there's a proper way of doing it, and I'm going to demonstrate that today. So what we have here is a little bit of text in a document, and you can see there are multiple paragraphs, and I have invisible characters turned on, so you need to go to your type menu, and it's the last thing at the bottom, which is actually hidden from the screen right now, but it's show or hide hidden characters. It's also option command I will show or hide them. Option command I shows or hides hidden characters. So what we see here in this column is that we have a paragraph. It ends with a paragraph break, which is just a return hit on the return key on the keyboard. And then it has yet another one. So this achieves a space between the paragraphs, but it's really big and it's hard to set uh, the space in small increments because if I want it bigger than this the only choice is to hit return again and it's a whole huge gap bigger so the the adjustment isn't fine enough well all we need here is a really small hint that the paragraph ends and another one starts so we need just a slightly bigger space than than none right if I delete this we need a bigger space than this okay so we're gonna go ahead and fix this and I assume that throughout this whole document all the text is set this way because a lot of people do this in business in word or something like that they'll they'll go enter enter or return return at the end of a paragraph so the first thing we need to do is get rid of all of these double paragraph breaks throughout our whole document so what we're gonna do is go to the edit menu and choose find change to start with we're going to open this and I'm going to say go out to the flyout menu here where the little at symbol is and say find the end of a paragraph. So that puts in this this character and then what I want to do is find every time there's two return characters. So I'm going to say find yet another one and then I'm going to change it to just one. So you see what this is doing. This is finding return return and changing it to just one, just return. And I'm going to search the whole document here and I'm going to get rid of this setting here. So all we want is this, two P's in here and then a single one and that's going to search the whole document. So I'm going to go ahead and say change all and here we see that it found five of them and replaced them. So I'm going to say OK and done. So now it ripped through our whole document and removed all those double paragraph breaks. So you should always only have one of these P characters, one of these um, return characters in your document. You should never, you need one to end the paragraph. You should never have two or more like this. There should never be one alone on the line. Okay, so I'm going to backspace that out of there. And now for typesetting, for aesthetic reasons, we need a, a space between these paragraphs to indicate that it's two different paragraphs. So what I'm going to do is go to my paragraph style. So in this case, I have it in Myriad Pro regular 8 over 12. And I suggest that you always name your paragraph styles not by what they are in the document, like uh, intro or, or uh, whatever the content instructions or whatever the content is name it by what the font and size is and color and everything else so I'm gonna go ahead and move this out of the way but I'm gonna double click on that paragraph style and bring this in here bring the paragraph style options in here so what I want to do is go to indents and spacing and here space after is here so this means space after the paragraph because I'm in a paragraph style so I'm going to try and show this to you at the same time. It, I almost can't. Uh, I'm going to move it over. Or I'll look, I'll just increase this to four points and then move over. And look at that. There's a gap now between the paragraphs. I'm going to do it off screen here. See, everything's shrinking. I'm down to zero. And here I have a huge gap. So I'm going to bring it down to a reasonable amount. And the eye only needs a little hint that there's another paragraph. This is actually three points, which is fine. So you see now how we can do small increments in here. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK and zoom back just a little bit. So see how you pick up. I'm going to zoom back even further. See how you can pick up even at this zoom factor the difference between the paragraphs, that there are different paragraphs there. That's all we really need in there. 
So uh, please don't use two return characters in your documents. Use a space after in your style sheet. And that way it affects all the text in the whole document.